Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss properties of radio waves. Now in our last lecture we discussed about radio wave propagation. In that also we discussed about structure of the radio waves. Radio waves are integrated with electric field and the magnetic field where electric and the magnetic field are right angles to each other and speed of radio waves is equal to 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second that is speed of the radio waves is equal to the speed of light that's why we are going for the radio wave communication to achieve the highest speed of the transmission. Now we will go for some another properties of the radio waves. Now radio waves are very easy to generate. They can travel long distance. They can penetrate the buildings means through buildings also radio waves can travel they can be used for the indoor and the outdoor transmission they are omnidirectional that is they are traveling in all directions and can travel in all directions can be narrowly focused at the high frequencies so these are the some properties of the radio waves Now, radio waves are frequency dependent. Radio waves behaves more like a light at high frequencies while radio waves behave more like a radio at low frequencies. Now, basic propagation mechanism to radio wave propagation is reflection, diffraction and the scattering. Now, reflection is what? It is the bouncing of the signal. In our respective figure, one plane mirror is there. Okay. In plane mirror, the respective wave will be reflected from the plane mirror. Okay. One incident ray is shown in above figure and one reflected ray is shown in above figure. That is, reflection occurs when a wave hits a reflective or smooth surface. When the wave hits the surface at an angle, the rebound of the wave will be equal to the wave on the other side of the normal. So, reflection can occur only when the respective medium is smooth or reflective. Now, another property of the RF signal or radio wave is refraction. That is, refraction is what? The RF wave can travel from one medium to another medium as shown in above figure. That is, RF wave or radio wave will travel from air to water. Okay, when... RF wave travel from air to water at that time bending of the wave is present in another medium and this respective property of transmission of radio wave from one medium to another medium is called as the refraction. Now refraction of the signal is having two angles. One is the incident angle and another is the refracted angle. Now, one another property is diffraction. It is called as scattering of the signal. Diffraction or scattering means what? Bending of the radio waves that is traveling in straight path as it hits on obstacle as shown in above figure. It occurs after a wave passes an object and starts to curve around 
it as shown in above figure waves when let it into large space tend to spread out so this is regarding to our scattering or diffraction in above figure all these properties are shown okay one transmitter is shown in above figure one receiver is there receiver is present in car now one direct wave transmission is there from large building reflection of the signal is shown from the small buildings diffraction is shown okay in this way in such a way our receiver will receive reflected signal direct wave signal and di diffracted or scattered signal in such a way our radio wave propagates from transmitter to receiver so they are called as what they are called as the radio propagation mechanism that is reflection scattering and the diffraction